the camera shut itself down, but I just I stayed right here and waited until the camera came back on. So you can see the hill. And this is coming from where I get water at the creek up to the two row or the two lane access. And this is because it's so wet. You can hear it. And you can see how overgrown it is. should have gotten that on camera. One of them little coyote puppies. But all I saw was the tail. And if any of you have ever seen pictures of Bubba, these coyotes are about twice the size of Bubba. So and Bubba was what, 12, 14 pounds? So, I would say these coyotes are anywhere from 25 to 40 pounds. And boy do they sing at night. Every night, you can get out here and hear them. And uh, there, as you can see, is the Winnebago. And I don't know what I'm stuck on. I'm stuck on something. I want you to see, I'm trying to get you to get a feeling of the depth of how deep and steep the angles are. This is right down the hill from my Winnebago. And this is why I worry so much about the rain. Because last winter when we had that 12, 14 inches of snow, the Jeep literally ended up 200 feet down there. And luckily I found a guy come out with two wreckers and 200 foot chains and we got the Jeep back up. Right? I'd have been in a world of hurt. Now this is heading up to where uh, my neighbor Andy used to live. And uh, honestly, he was here until the middle of winter. And it's already so overgrown, you can't tell he was here. In fact, there's his chicken coop. And you can see how overgrown everything is. Just in six months. See, there's his lot number six. I'm lot number five. And up here... These are the ones that have the horses and the cows and the donkeys and the seven dogs that I had to go down and complain about getting in my trash. twerking to me. So 
that's my donkey. Not mine, the neighbor. Oh, he's going to follow me. What are you shaking your head at? Huh? And, uh, there's one of the horses, though. Some of these horses are beautiful. I don't know much at all about horses. I know this one isn't very big, but boy, it sure is a pretty horse. So, I'm up at... This is uh, the access road that takes you to the highway. And all I'm going to do here is turn around and go back the same way I came because I don't know if the power line road is flooded. You can't see where the water swells up until you get down. Oh, and I can see water from here, so I'm not going down that way. Can you hear that water jostling around in my tank in the back? And here you get a good view of the hills and the valleys and the fact that we're in the mountains. And you can see the top of the Winnebago from here, the top of his chicken coop. And I guess I wish I had like a 3D motion camera or something where you could get a feeling for actually how high these mountains are around me. As you can see, once you get out of the property, everything is downhill until you get down to that clearing that we just came up from. Well, you can hear me picking up speed just from coming down the slope. You have to ride your brakes and you can see how muddy it is. And. Uh, this is not the start of my property line. This is just where I put my lot sign because the Winnebago's right there. And uh, I guess I'm down to about a third of water. But I did fill the holding tanks this morning, so there's another 60 in there. And then I've got 60 in the back. So there's about 75. And I, ah, hell, I still, I got close to 200 gallons of water. And we're supposed to have more tomorrow, or more rain tonight and tomorrow. I'm rolling windows up now. Uh, let me shut the Jeep down. Grab my smokes. Then I'm going to grab the camera. And... This is my front yard, folks. It doesn't get any prettier than this. And I sure wish you could see the depth perception here the way I see it. Because from the clearing to the top of my property up there where the, the tree line is, is 400 feet. Coming up from the creek, or from the clearing to this side of my property is only 250 feet because there's another 50 feet that you have to go up to get back to the highway. So, I'm going to shut this down and go load it in the computer and see what it looks like.